to the Bold Top by Joe podcast. Coming straight to you from the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona. Your society and culture podcast. And now, let's welcome your host, Joe. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bold Talk by Joe podcast. Hopefully, everybody is doing great. Today's episode is Twitter down. So if you use Twitter and you woke up on Saturday morning, July 1st, and you realized that you had a blank screen that said limit reached, you were wondering what the hell is going on, right? So Saturday morning was a uh, was a hectic morning for me. So for those that don't know, I was doing or that missed it, you should go check it out. I was doing a live, I was streaming live to promote episode 100. So if you're watching this, this is video exclusive only through YouTube, but on my audio platform, okay, I have, I'm almost to 100. So I was like, we're going to promote episode 100 live, and I'm going to do it through Twitter and YouTube because Instagram, I still do not have the live creator, the live broadcast creator turned on or whatever. So I guess not everybody has it. So not everybody can go live. So I was like, that's completely fine. I'm going to go live on Twitter and YouTube. So during the whole process, right, trying to get everything ready, get the cameras ready and have uh, my friends that were going to join me, make sure I'm communicating with them. I realized that I couldn't see anything. So I couldn't promote my show on Saturday. I couldn't see anybody's tweets. It was just a blank screen. It was just a black screen that said limit reached. So I uninstalled the app. I installed the app and the same thing. So I was like, you know what? I don't have time for this. Hopefully, hopefully they can see it uh, live on Twitter. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see anything. Not even after, after the live was done, after the live session was done, I couldn't see anything. Just, I didn't get access till Sunday morning. That is when I got access to Twitter. So it's 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 craziness, right? So I'm like, I'll do some research after the show, and then I'll figure out what the heck is going on. Maybe there's a bug. Maybe there's something going on with Twitter. Uh, servers are down or something. I don't know. So I started asking some of my friends on Twitter, and I'm like, hey, are you down? And they're like, no, we're not down. So I was like, what the heck, right? So I was like, why am I down? So I Googled it, and then I realized that there was a bunch of people that didn't have access to Twitter. So I started doing more research and I found this tweet. Of course, I couldn't see the tweet, which is, this is so stupid. And I, you know, I'm sorry I have to say that, but this is the stupidest thing ever. I like Elon Musk. I think that there's some stuff that he, you know, he talks too much about other stuff that he's not supposed to be talking about. I, I know that he has, uh, he has a lot of money and a lot of power, and uh, he can sometimes he feels that he can say whatever he wants. There's a lot of things that he does right, right? Uh, when especially like his cars, pretty cool, right? Um, I know some people out there that they don't like the electric cars; they're gonna freak out and they're gonna be like, "Boo, whatever." But okay, but he does do a lot of things, right? SpaceX and all kinds of different things, and this guy's involved in everything, right? But this is the stupidest part of all. So he sends a tweet July 1st, a Saturday, the Saturday, right? At 10 a.m. saying this. And let me get my show notes here. I apologize. I don't have them on the screen. I have them here on my iPad. So this is a tweet by Elon. It says, to address extreme levels of data, scraping and system manipulation, we've applied the following temporary limits. Verified accounts says here, verified accounts are limited to reading 6,000 posts a day, unverified accounts to 600 posts a day, and new unverified accounts to 300. So if you just started a Twitter, you can only read 300 tweets. Now, let me tell you why this is stupid. Because I couldn't see it. A bunch of people couldn't see it. So how the hell are we supposed to know that you're doing this? You're tweeting it out when we're blacked out. It just made no sense. This is 
this is the stupidest thing that I've ever seen in my life. It's like you're going to tweet something. You're going to tweet a change. But there's tons of us that can't see the tweet. So we still don't know what's going on until we start digging through the web and trying to figure out what the hell is going on. So I'll explain a little bit about the verified status. I made an episode about this a while back. And uh, when Elon took over Twitter, he decided that he was going to start charging $8, $13, whatever platform you were using, iOS or Android, or if you were using your browser, there was different amounts that he was going to charge, right? 8, 12, or 13, whatever it was. So you can get a verified check mark. That is because he wanted to uh, take away the bots. He wanted to take away all the fake profiles. And if the check ver, if you had a check verify, uh, blah, if you had a blue check mark, that meant that you were real. So I said, you know what? I get it. hundred percent. There was a lot of issues going on before Elon bought Twitter. There was a lot of manipulation with the government and Twitter staff and all kinds of stuff, tons of bots, tons of fake accounts. And I was like, I get that. No problem. He came out and said it. He came out and talked about it. And I was like, you know what? I need Twitter, the $13 a month or whatever. I'll see, I'll see how it works for me and I'll try it. Right. So after a long process of verification, you finally, I finally got verified and I ended up with the little blue check mark. So I was like, okay, at least when I'm trying to uh, request somebody or talk to somebody, they realize that I am a real person. So that I have no problems with, you know what, if, if you don't want to pay for it to see, you know, to, to let people, to let other people know that you're verified, you know, that's completely fine. After a couple months, I figured out that, you know what, I need to use that money to something else for my show. So it's okay. You know what I mean? I don't need to be verified right now. I'll just, I'll just keep going like this. And, uh, there's people that know that my show that I'm real, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm Joe and I'm the one that's sending them messages. So we're good until my show gets really, really big. And I have a tons of followers then, you know, then I'll get verified again. So like I said, to me, that's totally fine. Come out and say it before the things happen. And uh, I'm cool with it. And I, I, I understand it. A lot of people do not like to pay any money for it. They, it, Twitter was free, so they're upset that Twitter's not free anymore and blah, blah, blah. So all this shenanigans happen with Twitter, right? And it seems like since Elon bought Twitter, it's been nothing but shenanigans, right? Uh, good and bad. So like I said, there's a lot of good things that he's done. There's a lot of crazy things like this that he's done. So after this whole fiasco, he decided to switch the numbers. So the numbers have been switched around a bunch of times already. So it went to what I told you earlier in the tweet to then all of a sudden I read online that if you had a blue check mark, if you're verified, you had 8,000 tweets. If you were unverified, you could read 800. And I was like, okay, so, so what the hell is going on? So then later he compromised with a different number. And now it was a thousand for unverified accounts and 10,000 tweets for verified accounts and 300 for new, for still new unverified accounts. So I was like, this is bullshit, right? So I was like, you know, there's, he's just changing everything on the go. And there are some people on Twitter that, you know, they're, they come out and they're like, oh, well, you boo hoo, you guys are upset because you can't read. 800 tweets a day. It's not about that. One thing that, that I want you all to understand, and I'm sure a lot of you do, whoever, if you're a content creator or a podcaster or whatever, you understand that we use Twitter to promote. We use Twitter to cross promote. We share our friends stuff. We share our, uh, the creators that we like, that we think they're, they're amazing. We share their stuff. We retweet their stuff. Uh, there's a lot of news on there. I use Twitter for news. There's a lot of stuff on there that, that, I'm not aware of that. I'm like, Oh man, this is, this is good content. This is good information. I can maybe add this to my show. So I don't just use Twitter to go on there and look at random accounts. I use Twitter for my show. So when I don't have any access to my show and when I'm going live and I can't see my show on Twitter, I can't see anything who's watching it, who's on there, who's nothing. And I still can't see it. Like I said, it wasn't until Sunday when I was able 
to actually go onto my account and tweet something out. You know, and that I have a problem with. But I, I realized that maybe I had to dig a little bit more. And there was a little bit more to this. So then Elon said this. And again, get my show notes out. Elon said this. Data pillaged so much that this degrading service for normal users. Okay. So it doesn't matter, right? Just leave it how it is. Leave it how it is. And if you're going to do something like this, like I said, come out and say something first before you even do it, before people start freaking out, right? So then I decided to do a little bit more digging. And I found an article that I thought was very interesting. This is by The Platformer. It says, Twitter stiffs Google. Musk won't pay his Google Cloud bill, and the company's trust and safety systems are hanging in the balance. And I'll read a little bit more by the platformer here. It says, Twitter has refused to pay its Google Cloud bills, and its contract comes up for renewal this month. Platformer has learned, leading to high-stakes conflict between the companies that could result in Twitter, Twitter's trust and safety teams being crippled. So obviously, just by that little bit of uh, stuff that I just read, you realize that there is a lot more to this than just, I'm going to change this and I'm going to, you can only read 6,000 tweets or you can only read 300 tweets. There's a lot more to this than, than we know, right? And we all, we have to go and search for this in the internet. So to me, you know, to me, stuff like this, uh, some things, like I said, I do understand. And some things to me is just like, man, it, when you are running a platform that big, and if you, cause Elon's so involved in everything, it's your duty to come out and say, uh-oh, I need to go live, put me on a Twitter circle or put me, whatever the hell he does, and go and talk to the public, talk to the people on there and say, hey, guys, this is what's happening I'm going to make some changes, okay? And this is what's going to be from now on, period. Now, at least we have, we can make a decision where we can be like, okay, are we going to have to pay the $8 or the $12, whatever it is, so we can have 8,000 tweets to read or now 10,000 tweets to read? Or you know what? Nah, I'll just promote my show and promote as many people as I can a day and call it a day, right? Not a big deal. And then if I run out of tweets that I can read, then I'll just wait till the next day. Yeah, I mean, that would be the decision that you as a content creator or as a podcaster or anybody that uses Twitter, that's a decision that you would have to take. But at least you know what is happening. You don't just wake up on Saturday morning and you open your Twitter and there's nothing. And then this guy decides to tweet the shit at 10 o'clock in the morning when nobody, when, when a bunch of people don't have access to it, it's just, it's ridiculous, right? I mean, it's just ridiculous that, that the, the way people do things, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. And, you know, my Twitter is now working. And again, now I'm not using it as much because now I only have a certain amount of, of, of tweets a day I can read. Right. So now I'm like, okay, so, um, I stopped paying my, verified account so I can use it towards another app that I need for my show to create thumbnails and to create promotions and all this. Well, okay, now I'm going to have to fork out some more money for, uh, for this. Right. And to some people, $13, $8 is not, it's not a whole lot of money to some people. It is a lot of money. Uh, to me, it's just when you have a show, when you have a podcast and you're not famous, you have to fork out a bunch of money every day every time you do this, right. For whatever it is for cameras and all kinds of different things, right. For, for access to other places to, so you can be able to create your promotions and all that stuff that I explained already. So to me, I'm the type of person that all you got to do is explain it to me and let me know why you're doing it. I mean, you're the head of the company, you're the owner of the place. And if you're so damn involved, you should at least let us know. So, so we're all in the know, right? I mean, the guy hires a new CEO. I haven't even heard this CEO say anything. I mean, not even the CEO came out and said, Hey, by the way, we decided that we're going to change some shit around. You don't have to tell us that you didn't pay your bill. If that's even true, 
You don't have to tell us about any of that shit. If you're going to do some changes, come out and tell us and let us know, hey, we're doing some changes. This is what's going to be, period, right? And then, yeah, find out later that, oh, maybe he didn't pay the bill or maybe this happened or maybe this the servers crashed or maybe this or maybe that. Okay, whatever. But at least come out and say something, right? And not just on Twitter when people can't read the shit. Come out and say something on another platform or something. You know what I mean? I mean, just talk about it. Just go to the news and, and uh, hey, you know what? Put me on CNN or put me on whatever. And, hey, this is what's going on, guys, because uh, some of you are not going to have access Saturday or whatever, whenever it is, you know, we're going to uh, we're going to do these changes. And what's what was weird about this is if that was the case, right? 800, 800 tweets I can read. Well, when I woke up on Saturday morning, it was a new day, right? So is it 24 hours from the time that you read your last tweet or is it uh, the next morning at 12 o'clock or I mean, what is it right? Like there's has to be more than just I'm going to limit accounts to this because of this. There's has to be more to it. And this is all I'm saying on this episode is, you know, this shenanigans of this Twitter, you know, just come out and say it. Just come out and tell us what you're doing so we all know what the hell we're doing because it is important to me to have a Twitter. It is important to me to read other people's tweets and to retweet their stuff. It is important because that's how I help other content creators. That's how I help my podcasting friends. You know, that's how we cross promote. So yes, when you wake up and there's nothing there, I tend to have a problem with that. So that being said, um, hopefully... Elon comes out with a different plan or realizes that, hey, you might lose some people, man. You know, what are you doing? You know, you can't make drastic changes like this. Then maybe I'm missing the whole story. Maybe there's a lot more to this story by the time this episode comes out. But I'm just reading what I I'm reading to you, what I the research that I did, the stuff that I was reading on and how I felt about the situation. Right. So, you know, episode 100 is going to be coming out. Uh, It's going to be on Saturday. The time will be 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And this is going to be live on YouTube and live on Twitter. So I have to make sure that I don't run out of tweets so I can be able to watch my show on Twitter. Um, So I'm going to be, uh, it's going to be a normal episode. I'm going to talk about all kinds of different things, the process uh, from when I started to where I am now and uh, you know, it's going to be uh, very interactive. You should come on and, and, and join me and, uh, you know, and join the conversation. Right. And uh, it's, it's going to be fun. I'm going to have my friends on there. Also, there's going to be a few of my friends, uh, podcasting friends that are going to join me and uh, we're going to have a great, great time. So hopefully you love this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe and all that mumbo jumbo. Until next time. Peace. <laughs> Thanks for checking out Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. We want to thank all our listeners and supporters around the world. You can listen to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube Podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter at Bold Talk by Joe and on Instagram at Bold Talk by Joe.